All right. Everyone, everyone have masks here. Prime Minister James Marabi is stating this will allow the country to take stock on COVID-19 cases. In the last 24 hours, there have been 97 confirmed cases, 26 deaths and 2,226 confirmed COVID-19 cases nationwide. Not a stiff lockdown, but a, a, a nationwide isolation strategy uh, to ensure that people are not moving around unnecessarily, remain in your provinces, remain in your districts, remain in your villages, Remain in the suburb where you are, and for us at the national level, linking with our provincial uh, coordinating uh, uh, centres, uh, with the provincial health uh, authorities, and for us to establish a strategy that will mean we have isolation identify. Mr. Marbe directing the National Command Centre to consult with the Education Department and have the nationwide isolation plans in place in the next two days. To our National Control Centre what they need to do including consulting education department on when is school holiday. Marap is stating provincial centers had a year to set up for COVID-19 and the isolation period should run smoothly in unison with the National Command Center. The provinces for them to have their provincial and district response set up, uh, ho hopefully uh, later on today and tomorrow when our team make contact, we'll activate those responses that should be taking place at our province and districts and for us to work in unison and to ensuring that COVID-19 is identified, cases are identified, uh, cases are isolated, and we, through non-clinical measures, try to stop it from spreading. While nationwide isolation may seem like a change of words from lockdown, the Prime Minister reassures the plan should allow business activities to continue. Strategy is concerned to stop people moving around uh, without stopping business, without stopping government, just stopping unnecessarily moving around, living in a COVID-sensitive lifestyle. By Wednesday, full details of the nationwide isolation is expected to be announced. Adelaide Sirks, Kari National, MTV News.